What is up, beautiful people? We want to thank you for joining us. It is the Ignite Your Purpose. Me and my man, Johnny B from Healthy Funky Free. We are live on Be Live, Be, Be live TV. We have got a guest here today who I've been begging, begging for a year. And somehow, magically, John gets on the line and gets him to join 10 seconds later. So welcome to everybody. Thank you for joining us. John, Graham. Graham, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. And hello to you two fine gentlemen. Thank you for having me. I've been really excited about getting on this show and following you guys for a while now. Your consistency, this is the quality of um, product you're delivering day after day. And the accountability, that's huge. Um, so thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, brother. John. Well, it's, it's interesting because I was, I was chatting with, with uh, Graham online last night. I posted a video of, of some racing for the TT and Graham said that, that he'd love to visit the Isle of Man one day. Um, and as we're all welcoming friendly people over here, I said, well, all you need to do is get yourself to the island. There'll be a bed, a key for the front door, and you, you come and go as you please. Um, and then I, uh, I, I reneged on that offer and said, those things can, but, but, but you need to come on the show with us. We've been, we've been speaking about doing this for, for quite some time now. And... Um, and he stood up, he manned up, and um, it, we kind of threw it together a few minutes ago. We, we, uh, we've not done a, a, a three-way before, so to speak. Um, <laughs> the X-rated, baby! <laughs> There's a first time for everything. That's it. Yeah, but, uh, but it appears to be working. We apologize if the quality is not quite there. We'll work on the uh, signal strength. Um, but, Graham, tell us what's going on in your life, something interesting, maybe something a little bit poignant um, and maybe a challenge you've had, you've raised, you, you've stepped up to the mark and uh, yeah, talk, tell us. All right. So um, I'm going to move a little bit while I do this. I feel like uh, I really, I really like movement. Movement's huge. There and, we go. Um, and maybe I can segue to, you know, why that's, why that is kind of the theme of, of where I'm at right now in life. Um, I think everyone too. And kind of, it's the, um, going through some change, right? It can be, um, you know, a great, great kind of level of change, or it can be, you know, small, moderate changes, whatever it's, but, but change comes no matter if we, we want it to or not. It, it's, it comes upon us and it's how we deal with it, I think. Um, and that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm about right now. So um, my parents uh, have actually just separated at, at the age of 69. Um, you know, it, interesting. Yeah, they've been married for forty-five years. <laughs> it's like, okay, this 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 is going to get real. But let's go for it, right? I, I mean, I, I want to get stuff out. If we're going to really make progress, you got to talk about what's going on. And I think people can, you know, really appreciate or even, you know, obviously you guys can give me some feedback. It's you want to share your story and you want to you want to connect with others, and that's that's what I've been learning the most. Um, you know, whatever over the past, well. Probably about like about a year or two. Anyway, so here's where I'm at. Um, I'm back home in my well, second second family home that I grew up in back in my hometown. I've been living in, in Canmore for the past six years where I met uh, Max. And um, <clears throat> where we're at now is we're going to have to, uh, I mean, you can see there's, there's kind of stuff all over. We got boxes all over the kitchen here. You know, it's it's a you know stuff all over the countertops we're sorting through things it's going through all of our Ooh. shit and figuring out what's important to us the essentials that i feel like i need to live a good happy life and so we can move forward and realize that my mom can't stay in this lovely home all by herself you know and where's she gonna go so the question of what her change is gonna look like as well as you know, how I can help facilitate that change. Yeah. Um, and that's just where I am. It's, it's taking a while, you know, there's no, there was like the stress of like a timeline that I need to get back to a life and, uh, you know, or continue my, you know, things that I'm doing and I have a life back in Canmore, but also it's that not, not just like obligation. It's just that, you know, human responsibility to your, you know, your, your loved ones, which you appreciate, you know, the older you get that you, you have these people in your life. So I'm just like spewing, but I think you guys can see where I'm at. Um, so it's been, a, it's been about eight, eight weeks now and wow. I'll you know, tell you what I've been doing before that, but that's just, that's just the process. 
and it's been a it's been a uh, definitely an emotional not emotional sorry it's been a roller coaster yes the emotions were in it with the logistics and it's just that big time to question like where do we want to be where you know what what is what is the next thing and wow. and you got to want it right so anyways i mean compared yeah. to other things going on in the world with other people like this is you know small small potatoes is we might, might be a you know a uh, way to look at it but that's where i'm at so um I'm great. I'm glad I'm here. It's a beautiful mess and we're going to figure it all out. So <laughs> a, a beautiful mess, a beautiful mess. That is amazing way to leave that good, great segue. John, do you want to say anything or do you want me to bust in quick? Or? Yeah. It was, it, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> you know, what, you know thank, thanks for coming on, on the, on the show and sharing with us uh, your life really. And, it's very easy to say that in the big scheme of things and in, in, in the global scheme, it's not a big deal, but you don't live in the globe. You live in that town with your family uh, and what goes on, on on any given day is, is a big deal. And and sometimes it's it's easy and sometimes it, it's a challenge, but, uh, you know, well done for that. And what I liked is how you, how you spoke about all of your stuff and the how <laughs> Of stuff and I, and I love that because um, I, I refer to things as stuff mm-hmm. and then I refer to things that bring me value and last year back end of last year I, I really started analysing which possessions I have bring me joy uh, which possessions I get regular daily use out of and which things um, I, I just keep there because <laughs> you, you feel obliged to because as you know, guys who says you should keep all the photographs and you should keep the scrapbook from when you were, you were a child. And I, I just started looking at these and for as many smiles uh, that they brought me, that they, there, there were a lot of skeletons in a closet as well. So I started ditching this stuff out. Uh, I started applying that, that same um, idea to my daily life, um, and that was, I don't, I don't need to earn more money, I need to spend less money and value the money that I have. And that has given me the ability to go to work less or go to work when I choose to work because I don't need to buy so much shit I don't want or or pay for shit I've already bought or not bought or put on the never-never. Um, it's created more time. I think time is our most precious asset you know, if I could have, you know, discovered this journey 10 or 15 years ago, that, that would have been that would have been great. But I've discovered it at the age of 44, nearly 45. Um, and so I want to desperately leverage every minute of, that, of every day. And when I go to bed to say, did, did I have a good, uh, you know, did I make the best use of my time today? Side note, I intend to live until I'm 120, fully healthy, fully functional and operational. But I'm not going to look, I'm going to be good today and then be good tomorrow and then be good the day after and uh, just make the, the, the decisions and all that. But um, Max, your turn. Um, Graham, brother, you, uh, I'm just pumped that you're here, man. Like <laughs> Graham and I have known a, ourselves for a hot minute. He, he's seen, I definitely know he's seen my progression in life. He knew me back when and he, he knows me now and I'm sure he's seen a, a crazy change from who I used to be to who I've become um, and Graham also joined me for maybe a month or two in our meditation class so yeah. I, I I understand that you're going through changes man and I think all of us can fluff things off and say well it's not as big as you know what's going on in insert country war politics bullshit like that but you know the universe is providing change for you and us and john and bob down the street and susie for our elevation and evolution in this spiritual game called life and you've jumped on board brother and i am so proud of you man i i really didn't think i don't i didn't think you'd jump on man and and you're here in it and that's the first step bro that's the first step man and and now you're gonna have like when like i say it all the time man like when i was 13 and i got my first chubby man like it's something you're gonna. It, it's something you're gonna want to do every day, all day, more and more, man. Because you feel like a kid. You feel alive. It's stepping into fear, and it's just it's the unknown. And you know as well as I do. When we step to the unknown and step to fear, 
it's when we're truly alive. And I, and I thank you for being here. I thank you for sharing that shit, man. And I couldn't imagine, you know, I don't know what it would be like to see your parents at that age. Did you say 69? That's right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I think of myself when I get to 69, if you went through a massive change like that, like there must be so much learning you're doing and so much you're seeing and the emotion and the ups and the highs and the lows, the regrets. I mean, the universe is providing you so much to be able to even teach us. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I'm getting tingles. I'm, I'm tingly right now when I'm talking <laughs> to you because that's, it's so powerful, brother. It's, I'm just happy you're here. Hey, I'm happy to be here. It's a uh, good, great point about moving. You know, what, what I've made the conscious decision to do is to start moving towards those feelings of discomfort and to kind of deconstruct what that, what, what, what that is about for me, I guess, if it's along the lines of, you know, is it being nervous or is it being excited or is it somewhere in between where you get comfortable with that, with that, with the nerves you feel and you raise the level of excitement. And that's exactly how I feel when, when John said, all right, man, we're going to do it today. You know, it's like, yeah, we are good call. Like it's, there's, there's never going to be the perfect moment to take action. Never. Ever. That's right? no, we, that's we, the we truth. know this. Um, so it's, it's awesome. Like this is definitely fueling my purpose today. This is the stuff that fills it up. Honestly, you know, there's all these little things to do, especially right now, you know, and it's kind of like, to, you know, it's definitely to consider, well, what is, what's still the important thing? What is fueling me? There still needs to be a bigger thing happening to get all yes. the small things done. And that's yeah. something I've been kind of coaching my mom, you know, about to say, okay, no, there still needs to be more of a, your why and, and where and, and where and, and what, where you want to go. What, what's your direction? It's not just these things in front of us now. And that's, this is, you know, I'm learning tons through, through kind of working through that with her too. Um, so that's awesome. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and here's something I'll say for your mom and something I'll say for all of us. <clears throat> John mentioned age. You can put a number of 12. You can put a number of 69. It's never too late. You see what I'm hey, saying? Yes. And until, until each and every one of us understand that, I mean, because I think a lot of us at 25, you know, I see a lot of kids at 25, they start, they start getting into that routine of drinking and, you know, putting on weight. And I hear it all the time. Well, dude, I'm 25. I'm done. Dude, I'm 30. I'm done. Dude, I'm 35. I'm done. Right. You're never done as long as this thing says go forward. Yeah. It's, um, you spoke about the sort of, uh, your, your mom and sort of starting from scratch at 69 and there are so many things to do. And there's an analogy that I, um, uh, I was once told whilst I was doing some exams and my friend Phil said, he said, John, how do you eat, how do you eat, uh, sorry, how do you, <laughs> you eat an elephant? And I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean, how do you eat an elephant? He said, well, do you, where'd you start? And I said, I wouldn't know where to start. And he said, break it down. You go, I'm going to eat the left leg the trunk, the right leg. So every massive challenge we've got, this is, it's, it's when we've got, we've got goals and we have this lifelong goal to get to here by the time we're 50 or 60 or 70 or 80. But we always, unless you break that goal down into sub goals, you're trying to achieve that massive thing today and that massive thing tomorrow rather than creating subcategories and, and, you know, working out what, what's the small thing that I can achieve today and then what's the small thing that I can achieve tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. And, and enjoying that journey, right? That's yeah, enjoying the, the process. Yeah, yeah, well said. That, and that, that's a learning curve for me, man, because every day, you know, you want to be there. You want to be there. You forget about how fun it is to hustle, right? Like, it's part of being human. Graham, do you – Cool, man. Right. I'm, I'm going to suggest that um, – Graham finishes up with a final thought, and then we uh, we, we call it a day. Um, <laughs> this will only get easier and more more smooth as we as we do. And we hope to have Graham back on again, and so he can share uh, some more of his journey. Uh, he can tell us all about the Toastmasters, which I think he uh, he posted up yesterday. Um, yeah, yeah. So, to. Graham, take it away. Um, final thought: How can we tie this all in? It would be. Uh, you know, I mean, you guys heard about where, what I, where I'm at. I, I just want to see my parents happy. That's just the root of it. And I just want to see everyone around me be happy and try to do whatever I can to make sure I'm taking care of my own personal happiness so that I can continue to kind of share that, put that out, like you guys say, elevate the whole thing. 
And uh, you guys have made me very happy to be on here today and excited and pumped. I'm like ready to get it done today. It's going to be, it's going to be a really, real good one. I can tell. Well, uh, real, I think, I think, real good one out here in Alberta, Canada. Woo! Yeah, get I done. think we gave you um, about two minutes notice, you know, I sent you a quick, <laughs> quick email. So that, and by the way, it's happening right now. So uh, we're glad you, you've got your clothes on, unlike Max, <laughs> who's always semi-naked. But, um, <laughs> it's a good uh, luck. Good yeah, you got but from me to all the listeners out there, wh whoever's tuning in, whether it's live or, or afterwards, we appreciate your time. We know you could be anywhere but right here with us. So thank you for that, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Graham. Everybody, Maurice. talk to you soon. And Graham, I will be asking you more questions about meditation class next time. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ball the sexy, boys. Ball the sexy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>